The family of a 19-year-old shot and killed late last month laid that young woman to rest today. And one of the teens charged with killing her was out of custody at the time for allegedly killing another woman more than a year ago. Her family tells our Bill Miston the suspect shouldn't have been out in the first place, right, Bill? Mary and Ted, 17-year-old Rashawn Seabury was released from custody on a signature bond last month, confined to his home on GPS before the month was over, though. He's accused of shooting and killing Camiana Funches outside his own home. And Funches death hits too close to home for family of another woman who Seabury is accused of shooting and killing last year. Oh. My bike. This is Trinity. She's four years old, going on five, as she's sure to tell you. Mama! Without this little girl right here, she keep me going. For Virginia and Leandre Speed, so much of Trinity reminds them of their daughter, Jasmine Brown. She's just a, got a sweet spirit, just like my daughter. The 26-year-old was shot and killed near 5th and Malvina back in April 2021. My daughter's supposed to be here raising her daughter. 17-year-old Rashawn Seabury, then 16, was charged with shooting and killing Brown. Prosecutors said he stood through a car's moonroof and shot a rifle to, quote, clear a path and hit Brown as she dropped off a friend after a night out. His brother, 25-year-old Angelo McCaleb, was also charged in connection to the case. He's a material witness for the state, but can't be found. So the trial was put on hold. Mr. Seabury was out on bail uh, for another homicide charge that uh, had a pending speeding trial that we could not meet. So his bail on that case was reduced. <laughs> to a 30,000 signature bond. He was released on home confinement last month and on GPS monitoring at his home on Long Island Drive. It was there on May 31st, prosecutors said three women were making rounds to graduation parties when they wanted to surprise three friends at a house there on North Long Island Drive. Filings say as they pulled up to the home, gunfire erupted. An 18-year-old woman was injured. A 19-year-old woman, Camiana Funches, was killed. 18-year-old Omarion McNeely. Funch's boyfriend, 17-year-old Dalen Bridges, and 17-year-old Rashawn Seabury charged in the case. Prosecutors said the three thought the car was suspicious, so they started shooting. In total, at least 24 bullets at the car. Police say at least 16 fired by Seabury. To hurt somebody else? This hurt me to the core. The speeds infuriated. I'm glad he got caught, but I'm sad that he had to do something else like that to get put back in jail. I feel sorry for him, I pray for him, but I just want justice for my daughter. I need peace, I need peace. And it may be some time before any type of peace comes. That jury trial for uh, Brown's case is scheduled to go forward in August. Now, these three teens are scheduled to appear back in court next week for a preliminary hearing in the death of Funches. All three remain in custody. Reporting in the newsroom, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. Bill, thank you.